Hello friends, this is Slidehan for you. Slidehan provides free video tutorials on C, C++ and data structures. To subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button that appear at bottom right corner or you can visit my YouTube channel by typing www.youtube.com slash slidehunt. Okay, let's back to our topic. Today in this video, we will learn how to convert an infix expression to its corresponding postfix expression programmatically. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to convert an infix expression into postfix manually. This is an infix expression. To convert it to postfix, we need to follow the operator precedence and associativity rule. According to operator precedence, multiplication and division has same precedence. And for the same precedence, we proceed from left to right. So first we convert this part B star C, which gives B C star. Then we convert this part, which gives D E slash. Next, addition and subtraction have same precedence. For the same precedence, we follow left associativity rule. So first we convert this part, which gives A B C star plus. Then we perform the operation on subtraction. And finally, we get this one. Now remove all the parentheses and this is the converted postfix expression. We can use this logic in our program, but this is not an efficient way to write our program using this logic. Or it is a little bit complex to write an algorithm using this logic. So here I am going to teach you another different technique that is very simple and efficient. Suppose this is an infix expression. To convert it into postfix, scan the expression from left to right and check each of the character or token either it is an operand or operator. Here we start from A. As you can see here, A is an operand. If it is an operand, we simply add it to the postfix expression or string. So we put here A. Move to the next position. It is an operator. Now what do we do? In postfix expression, operator is placed after two operands. For this addition operator, left operand is A, but we don't know its right operand. It may be B or B star C or anything else. Until we find the right operand, we cannot place the operator in the postfix string. So what we do now? In such cases, we will place the operator in some place, it's called stack. A stack is a linear data structure in which an element may be inserted and deleted only one end called top of the stack. And the elements are deleted from the stack in the reverse order in which they are inserted. That means last inserted element will be deleted first. Now push here plus, go to the next position, it is an operand, add it to the postfix, move to the next position, it is an operator, push it onto the stack, next is an operand, add it to the postfix, move to the next position, it is an operator. One thing I must say here, Operators are placed in the stack from bottom to top in the order from lower precedence to higher precedence. You cannot place a lower precedence operator after a higher precedence operator. You can see here at the bottom we place addition, then we place multiplication. Since multiplication has a higher precedence than addition, so we can place here multiplication after addition. But now we can't place here subtraction because subtraction has lower precedence than multiplication. So what we do now? When we get an operator with lower precedence, we pop all the operators from the stack that have higher precedence than that operator. Since multiplication has higher precedence than subtraction, 
so we pop multiplication from here and add to the postfix now addition and subtraction has same precedence and for the same precedence we proceed from left to right so addition will be performed first popped addition from here add to the postfix now push here subtraction go to the next position it is an operand add it to the postfix next is an operator since division has a higher precedence than subtraction so we can push division onto the stack move to the next position it is an operand so add it to the postfix when we reached at the end of the string we pop all the operators from stack and add it to the postfix first pop division operator and add here then pop subtraction operator and then add to the postfix so this is our converted postfix expression here in this expression we don't use any parenthesis but what if the infix expression would have parenthesis let's see how to convert an infix expression with parenthesis here we have taken an infix expression with parenthesis any part of the expression within the parenthesis treated as an independent part of the expression the execution of that part cannot be influenced by other part of the expression here a plus b is within the parenthesis so this part work independently and will not influence by other operators such as multiplication or division we know multiplication has a higher precedence than plus though we execute this part first because it is within the parenthesis and will not influence by multiplication to convert this expression into postfix same as the previous one we scan the expression from left to right and determine whether the token is either operator or print left parenthesis or right parenthesis here we also use a stack the first token of first character is a left parenthesis so push it onto the stack move to the next position it is also a left parenthesis push it onto the stack move to the next position it is an operand add it to the postfix move to the next position it is an operator so push it onto the stack move to the next position it is an operand add it to the postfix move to the next position and it is a right parenthesis when we get a right parenthesis or a closing parenthesis means we are at the end of the last open parenthesis for this case we pop all the operators that are within that parenthesis so we continue to pop all the operators from stack until we get a left parenthesis first pop plus then add to the postfix now we get an opening parenthesis or left parenthesis so we will stop here and at the same time we remove the left parenthesis also move to the next position it is an operator so push it onto the stack move to the next position it is a left parenthesis it will go to the stack next is an operand add it to the postfix next is an operator it will go to the stack we know that a lower precedence operator will never be placed after a higher precedence operator but here we place subtraction after multiplication because after multiplication there is an opening parenthesis or left parenthesis that indicates subtraction is a part of some other inner parenthesis so subtraction will not influence by multiplication move to the next position it is an operand so add it to the postfix next is a right parenthesis or closing parenthesis we pop the operator until we get a left parenthesis so first pop subtraction and add to the postfix next we get a left parenthesis we will stop here and at the same time we remove the left parenthesis also go to the next position 
it is an operator we know multiplication and division have same precedence but for the same precedence we follow the left associativity rule so first we perform multiplication operation pop it from stack and add to the post fix now we push here division operator move to the next position it is an operand add it to the post fix go to the next position it is a right parenthesis so we pop all the operators until we get a left parenthesis pop division operator and now we get a left parenthesis remove the left parenthesis also in fix expression is ended here and this is our converted postfix expression next we we'll learn how to write an algorithm to convert an infix expression to its corresponding postfix expression here we will write an algorithm named postfix and this algorithm takes two arguments i and p i is an expression written in infix notation this algorithm converts the infix expression i to its corresponding postfix expression p so the first thing that we need to do we need to create a stack here we create a stack named stack in step 2 we scan the infix expression i from left to right and for each element of i repeat step 3 to 6 until the stack is empty then we check is it a left parenthesis if it is a left parenthesis we push it onto the stack if it is not a left parenthesis then we check if an operand is encounter if it is an operand we simply add it to the postfix expression p then we check an operator is encounter here we use a hash symbol to represent an operator because we don't know what operator is encounter it may be addition subtraction multiplication division or anything else if an operator is encounter we cannot directly push it onto the stack before pushing it onto the stack we need to check precedence if the operator has same precedence or higher precedence than has then we pop the operators from stack and add it to the postfix expression p then we push hash to the stack but if the operator that we want to push has higher precedence then we skip this step and directly push that operator to the stack then we check if a right parenthesis is encounter if a right parenthesis is encounter we pop all the operators from stack and add it to the postfix expression p until a left parenthesis is encounter then we remove the left parenthesis also and the algorithm is ended here next we we'll learn how to write a c program to convert an infix expression to its corresponding postfix expression here we we'll write a program that will convert an infix expression to its corresponding postfix expression so let's start first i am going to define the size has define size 100 next we declare a character array named stack char stack and here i'm going to write size then i'm going to initialize int top equal to minus 1 here we define all these three statement as global so that we can use it from any function go to the next tutorial to get the remaining part of this program